thank everyone for coming out uh, to join us today. I know so many of you all have been here for much longer than I have, and so for me, it's an honor to be here at this milestone for Johns Hopkins Hospital. And before we begin, um, I just was thinking about, uh, you know, Ron did a great summary of the last 25 years uh, since uh, the 100th anniversary, and I was thinking about it, what else happened during that 100 years, and, and there was a, a, a national magazine that bet its survival on trying to rank hospitals. And so it, it, it no longer actually carries much uh, United States news or much World Report, but it actually ranks medical schools every year. And it just happened that if you think about it, this is a 23rd year or 24th year that they'll rank those. And it so happens that because of many in this room, this hospital has been ranked number one for almost the entire 25 years since our last anniversary. And out of those years, almost all of them, we had a single president of Johns Hopkins Hospital, which is Mr. Ron Peterson. So, wow. so you can't really think about the last 25 years here without thinking of Ron and his leadership, which I think we all value. So I was asked to talk about the promise of medicine. And so take, take us back 25 years ago. So 25 years ago, 1989. So the president was the first George Bush. The uh, best show on TV, or the most popular, was Seinfeld, right? And for those in the audience, it was only a couple years removed from when Mookie Wilson hit that ball right under Bill Buckner's legs, and the Mets won the World Series. So in some ways, it seems a long time ago. In some ways, it seems like yesterday. Uh, but think about what happened in medicine in 25 years. I'll give you a couple of examples. So, Many of us were here uh, treating patients 25 years ago, 1989. Remember what HIV was like 25 years ago? Do you remember about sitting in this hospital? I was at Columbia and how you had these wards of these kids who were dying and you could do nothing, nothing about them, right? Because it was only 25 years ago that they developed AZT, which is a first drug. So that was 25 years ago. It's, it's an amazing change in that disease. Think about heart disease. So heart disease, when you had a heart attack 25 years ago, anyone here work in the cardiac intensive care unit? I know Jim Weiss is here. So 25 years ago, what did we do? We, someone came in with a heart attack, we gave them morphine so they couldn't move and they were wiped out and they would just say, we said, don't get stressed, just relax. Just, Cause that's all we had to offer them. And then they'd wake up in the morning and we give them bacon and eggs, right? <laughs> and then they'd sit in the CCU, right? And that's what we treated heart disease. Do you know that the death rate from coronary disease has come down 48%, 48%. So in, in, in 1989, the, the most popular admission, and still today, is giving birth in the hospital. But if you look at the other five top admissions, three of them are cardiac. Today, only one is cardiac. Just amazing transformation in 25 years. Think about cancer. Right? So cancer, 25 years ago, we didn't even know, we knew it was genetic, we didn't know how many genes caused it, we didn't know that the lung cancer was really different from the GI cancer. And today, look at the survival for cancer. We have treatments or ongoing treatments for almost all cancers at this point. And life expectancy is way up above 25 years ago. And then finally, think of peptic ulcer disease. So remember what we did for peptic ulcer disease 25 years ago? We said it was caused by stress and spicy food, and so you had to drink milk and eat antacids, right? That's, that's how we treat it. Now we know most of it's due to bacteria that we can cure with antibiotics. I said, holy cow, that's 25 years ago. So it's amazing, and many of those changes occurred here at Johns Hopkins Hospital. You have Bob Silicano understanding how HIV stays in the body in reservoirs. You have um, people, Bert Vogelstein understood the progression of cancer and described it for the rest of the world. I mean, it's, it's an amazing transformation. You have Roger Blumenthal having this clinic to tell people how to keep their heart disease from occurring via preventative, preventative cardiac clinics. That, that was unheard of 25 years ago. So we've come a long way, and you know, the next, I was thinking about the next 25 years will even be greater, because, you know, our, exponential growth in medical knowledge. And in 25 years ago, we're going to be treating, we're going to, Alzheimer's disease probably will not, will be treatable in 25 years from now. So we have these great changes. It's been a great 25 years, and I hope to be here 
and 25 years ago today, and I'll be in the front row just cheering on the next generation of people. So thanks, everyone, for coming today and for what you do.